update everything. Just gotta wait for the stream to fully kick online while I sort some stuff in the background. God, I don't know why Discord changed the fucking font of their logo. I mean, every company's doing it. I honestly just don't know why. I feel like they all just want to be like, Hey, look, we updated our font. Please clap. <laughs> I mean, that's just what most companies are doing at the moment. Um, Yeah, it's just fucking weird. Uh, but yeah, so hey guys, it's your boy Flame Ninja. Hope you're having a fairly good day. I'm having a fairly good day myself. One sec, the fucking... Background music needs to fucking play. Monk. There you go. That's your playing. Uh, but yes, uh, today, uh, for this stream, I'm going to be doing the latest Final Fantasy XIV raids. But, well, raid, raid first, the Alliance raid. I'm going to be doing a run of that. Maybe two, depending on how I feel. And then I'll probably jump into some Dark Souls 2. Or maybe I'll do some Eureka. Who fucking knows? I'm currently uh, doing the Eureka content because I want the T-Rex. That is the only fucking reason. <laughs> uh, so I will consider doing some Eureka, but we'll pretty much see. All I know is that first I am just definitely doing the most recent online trade. Um, so let's fucking go into that then. Um... Let me go up to the game window. Uh, where's that audio? Yes, okay. Um, I had the Rhapsody event. I did the Rhapsody event. It was a fun little event for Final Fantasy XI. Raids and Walker Aglia. I've still got to unlock a lot of the old raids, to be fair. Because I've got, like... You've got, of course, all of these... I've got the Alliance raids, of course, for Stormblood and Shadowbringers. Have not done the Alliance raid for just Heaven's Ward, actually. It's the only Alliance raid storyline I haven't done. And it'll probably be quite hard to do, because getting 24 people together for really old content isn't the easiest. Uh, but I, I guess I can also get some points and shit. I've got an RP bar. I should probably... Um, oh, shit. Oh, I didn't realize you could fucking just left click and now it's fucked. Oh, now it's just over here. That's annoying. Uh, HUD. In fact, let's just disable it for now because I'm not going to need it. I do need that. As you can see, yeah, I've been doing Eureka, the Protein Crystals and the Eureka Potions. I will not need them for this raid, but there's no point in removing them because I'll probably be heading back into Eureka tomorrow or after the stream. Who fucking knows? I'm not that far in Eureka, to be fair. I'm only like level elemental level eight sorry I, I forget this like elemental level i've done the parkour challenge here it's not even that tower is it it's that tower. i forget which tower you climb up is it over here actually i don't remember honestly hold on um i was about to say it'll be weird if these i haven't been in fucking um I don't even fucking remember what this place is called. Uh, Kugane, that's it. I haven't been in Kugage, Kugage, Kugane in ages. I think the last time I was here was for either the Hildebrand quest line or the Monster Hunter trial. Oh, it might have actually been the Alliance Raids. The, um... Oh, what the fuck is it called? It's the, uh... I forget what the storyline's called. Hold on. What is the storyline called? This one. I forget what the storyline is called. I don't know what it's called. All I know is I did it because you need to do that to get to Bosnia, which is kind of annoying. The fact that you need to do a Stormblood Alliance raid line to get to Bosnia. And I don't even think they even connect, but I guess technically you're continuing um sid's quest line but it's very confusing to say the least i don't fucking know honestly uh i think it must be just because of sid's uh quest line because sid of course plays a fairly big part in the uh stormblood quest line and then of course you have oh shit can you get on top of this umbrella yo oh nope you just clipped through it i'm trying to figure out what tower you climb up Oh, there it is. 
Is, is, is it that? It's not that one. That's too... S oh, no, it is that one, I think. Oh, well, yeah, you see someone jumping up it right now. So it probably... Yeah, it's that one. And then you jump down to the lamp poster right there. And I've already gotten that one. So we all fucking clean. I got the lamp post jump first try. Thank fuck. Because climbing up that tower is quite the thing. Although some people probably got really good at it. Look at that person. Oh, it's mobile people, actually. Respect. Yeah. I do want to do quite a bit of the old content, but I don't know how many people are doing them, to be fair. You know, like the old extremes. I need to do... The main one I do want to do is the Shadowbringers extreme. Whoa. Whoa. Uh... Go. I do fucking like this alliance raid quite a bit, to be fair. It is quite fucking fun. Um, especially the fucking final boss music. Oh, God. It makes me really want to do, like, all of the fucking extremes. Because the amount of music I'm missing... Because, honestly, I, I arguably, like, one of the big reasons for just doing this is for music. The reason I'm doing this is for my 590 gear. Which I doubt I'm going to get fucking any. Because I'm a striker. Oh, and there's a second monk. Yeah, whenever I do this, striker gear never drops. So I doubt I'm going to get any. But it would be nice to get some. One thing I guess that's going to be convenient, though, about fucking... Uh, as this goes on, more and more people are going to... I guess people are going to get higher level gear and shit, and that's going to make people be able to do the runs faster. Oh, fucking no, you know, shit happens. I don't even know if I remember all the mechanics, I'm going to be honest. But, you know, eh, we'll fucking see. I remember most of the mechanics, or at least I should remember most of the mechanics, but I, I doubt I remember all of the mechanics, uh, because I'm just not fucking very smart. Um... But, oh, wait, hold on. Why is a black mage got highest fucking aggro on our team? Oh, it's because, you know, the tank isn't pulling aggro. In fact, I probably got one of the worst aggros here. Um, because I, I, I honestly, I don't really care about my fucking hell. I was close to that. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, it was that probably. Oh, no, it was meant to be the other one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't really care about my <laughs> TPS and positioning and shit. I just do what I can, do what I have fun. I'm definitely not the most optimized. Hell, I haven't even looked up videos and shit on, like, how to do a full-on, like, up-to-date uh, monk rotation, really. Um, I just do what I fucking can. Hell, as you can see there, I even miss input half the time. Um, I, ju I just do whatever my brain likes, and I just do that. And you know what? If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh, shit. I, f I completely forgot about the hammers and shit. I was too busy focusing on my fucking combo. I haven't actually done that. I've almost fucked up a mechanic because I was too busy just looking at my own combo. Trying to remember. Uh, it's going to get knocked over here. And this platform ain't going to get moved. So you can just fucking walk over here, really. I don't know why everyone's moving so far away. You can just fucking stand here, mate. I'm guessing they can hit there. Oh, fucking no. Yeah, I, I don't know why so many people moved so far away. Like, I don't know what the best rotation is for, um... Oh, shit. Will this work? Yeah, this will work. Like, this tends to be a safe spot to just, uh, yeet into. Right, as soon as it moves. Oh, someone ate that. Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure he's just going to do the big smash and bring it back to normal. It's honestly, I really like the whole like theming and shit. But um, I guess for what I've been doing then recently is um, I'm playing, of course, Cyberpunk. I've been continuing that. That's been pretty fun. Um, the plot, you know, is slowly developing and shit. Uh, one of the things that kind of makes me a bit sad is that just a lot of the... Uh, decisions you can make feel very, you know, they're, they're like pseudo choices and like your your choice doesn't really matter too much. A lot of them is like, the, you know, a lot of them have that illusion of choice to them, which is um quite sad, but I guess 
it is quite a big game, so they couldn't make... It's not, you know, it's no Fallout New Vegas, so they couldn't, like, make a fuck ton of decisions. Um, also, another thing is that the side jobs feel very here and there. Like, a lot of the side jobs are very, you know, chore-like, you know, where... It, oh, fuck, I just ate that. I ate that because I forgot what color was the fast and what color was the slow. Um... I don't even know what he's doing. Oh, it's just a tank buster. Okay, there we go. Um, but, uh, some of the side quests are very chorish of just, like, fucking off across the map everywhere, clicking buttons until... And it's just like, oh, quest done. Good job. I haven't gotten to the end of any of them, so I'm assuming that there's probably some nice character and story sort of features or whatever. But, um, it just feels like a lot of just faff. Uh, it's going to be punted in that direction. So I'm just going to stand here because this platform isn't even going to be here. Why are they going over there? The, the hammer's being hit in that direction. Oh, you can just stand still. I didn't even think about that. What? I, I completely forgot the fact that you could just stand fucking still. And you'd get the same roughly, you know, input. I don't know why I keep clicking that. It's like... This is the one that gives you, like, more defense or some shit. It's like, uh, cool. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I will probably continue to play through that and shit. I don't, I have no fucking clue, like, what ending I'm going to be leading towards. There's, like, a few endings, and honestly, I don't really care what ending I get. Whatever ending I get, I, I get, and it's just how it is. Um, but I prefer, like, a fairly nice ending, you know. Uh... Also, that's the problem, I guess, with a lot of the decisions is just, like, the idea of, like, there's different endings, meaning I feel like, oh, I wonder what my choices will enact. Because that's something, I guess, that I guess is sort of a slight problem with Cyberpunk, is that with just how the world and the gameplay is set, uh, can we just fucking kill him? There we go. Um, it feels like all of the options and shit you make are just what will the ending you get? I know you get, like, all the different character and stuff, like, slowly changes and shit. You probably can, like, build relationships. But it doesn't feel like Fallout and Skyrim, where your different choices, like, have different impacts. In the well, I guess less for Skyrim, but more for, like, the other Souls games. Not so fucking Souls? The other games. Um, let me just move this up to there. Why the fuck is that not there? Um... But especially in, like, Fallout, um, it feels like each decision I made in Fallout was impacting the world and shit. And that's why I made decisions was not, oh, I wonder what ending I'm going to get. It's very much just, like, who, like, very much was personality and shit based. Um, it was, like, what groups do I like? What groups do I think will be good to be a part of? Which, like, communities do I want to help because I support them? Um... That's why I feel like something that I just haven't really had in Cyberpunk, that just at least for me, was just whenever I made a decision, it was never because like, oh, I want to make sure I help out this group or I help out this group. It was just, oh, this is probably going to lead into one of the endings or some shit. Um, you know, the choices feel like they don't serve the world. They just serve as binary numbers that you increase to get a certain ending. Um, the Witch had some some stuff with this where like your decisions would impact like what characters would be affected by certain things um a lot of the time it was never clear and it was just like you would make one fucking random decision often some left field and it would just kill off like a, a side character and i was just like oh okay then <laughs> i don't know how i was meant to have any sort of fucking foresight in this occurring um but yeah, sure um I mean, I guess it is fine to, you know, have less clear, uh, like, consequences. But I, I still prefer it when games, when, like, when you make a decision and it's like, okay, and then something in the future happens and you're like, okay, it was clear that this sort of thing was going to happen. Like, again, again, like, Fallout, is, I know it's dumb, but um, I keep using Fallout, but it's just one of the quick examples I think of. Like, you help the the fucking Brotherhood of Steel, you know that's going to lead to the fucking, um, 
Institute being defeated because that's the people they're going against. Or in New Vegas, you help uh, the New Californian Republic. Or I think that's what it's called. Um, the NCR. It, uh, that means that they're gonna, you're going to fight for their side. Like It's simple shit like that. Instead of just like, you helping the NCR means that some random character in Freeside dies. That's kind of what Witch always felt like, is you interact with some guy in the New Vegas Strip. It means that uh, someone in fucking... Oh no, the big tank is dead now. It, it's just like... It's very like it's it because for example the example I can think of is that in the one of the early side quest lines you can help like a demon out of a tree and give it like a horse body and shit and that leads to like the bad ending for that quest line but it has n like the 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 horse existing is only vaguely mentioned. Because I knew it was the bad choice. But the, the impact it had, I was like, oh, that I don't know how that works. I mean, I think there's some dialogue about it being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go help the children in the village. So, I mean, there's that. But it's so fucking vague that it's just like... But I feel like it might have been written like that on purpose. And I feel like a lot of writers do that, where you write something so vague that you can just do fucking anything. Like, if you make something so vague, you can just bullshit anything in there. To be fair, that's like most game theories. Even fucking Dark Souls, a series I fucking love, as you guys know. Um, as a lot of people watch my channel. Um, even Dark Souls, like a lot of their theories, I feel like are very much just held together through the fact the community accepts it. Um, you know, something like uh, Pinwheel being a, a family because of the mask. Like a family inside one body. That's... That's completely a theory. Sure, there's some hinting at it and stuff, but in the end of the day, it's it's just it's it's just a game. Th um, and that's the thing. Oh god, anyone fall? Hey, some people. I love that one so far because the fact is, if you're not like, if you slightly go too far off to the side, you just get launched off, and it's fucking hilarious. I, was, I, I actually think I hit that fucking attack in the correct angle for some reason. Somehow. Not for some reason. Right, this is... Uh, oh, this is just big beam. Punching blue. I, I do like uh, one update they made to this fight. As you see the little uh, energies going to the blue portal. That I don't think used to be there. I think they added it because it was a lot harder to tell which portal was the uh, big guy going to punch. Um, you could still see because he, you know, point... He, he goes to punch it. You know, he fucking winds up a punch. Um, but, you know, there's still that bit of confusion of like, is is this the right one or is this the bad one? I don't fucking know. As for in this game, um, I want to do Eureka, but I also want to start leveling up my other classes. Um, I've got White Mage. I want to get to max level. Um, and a tank. I... I'm really not sure whether I want to do Marauder or Dark Knight. I fucking love both of them. Because I think they're both just really fucking cool tanks, honestly. So I'll be fine leveling either of them. I think I'm going to lean into Dark Knight purely because... Um, a, big fucking swords. Um, and B, um, the quest line is apparently like the best uh, class job quest line. And I fucking love the story in this game. So another good story would be really fucking cool. Um, so yeah, I'll, pr I'll probably do that out now. Um, I guess if we're talking more about Final Fantasy XIV, <laughs> in terms of the, uh, I guess, the direction the uh, story is going, he is punching the portal. Um, that's where the story is going. I do like the way the story is going from the newest expansion in terms of uh, your Stola getting focus. Uh, I do enjoy that. Um, because I feel like out of all the characters in this game... Spoilers for the story, I guess. But it's not too much. It's not really anything. It's just vague thinking. Um, but I feel like your Stola had the least character development out of all the Scions so far. They may have been one or two things I missed. Like one or two... Maybe I'm forgetting one or two cutscenes or something. But I just don't remember your Stola getting much character development um 
she's very similar to what she was at the beginning with maybe some little changes where I feel like the rest of the Scions have undergone significant changes uh, throughout the entire game. Um, so it's cool to see that, right? He's punching blue, so we want to get as far away as possible in a moment. Right, this way. I'm just walking. I'm literally just walking. <laughs> There's one person who I feel like has just been dead for God knows how long at this point. I feel bad for him. I like how actually I just realized our team has two black mages and two monks who are essentially competing for damage. Oh shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. I've seen it. I've seen the way. I've seen the way. Knock me back, bitch. Whee! Oh, oh my god, I thought like everyone slid off there and I was about to fucking die laughing. I thought everyone just slid off there. That would have been fucking hilarious. Um, yeah. I'm also looking forward to see uh where the next expansion will take us. I'm mainly looking forward though to 6.1.5 where we're going to get a Hildebrand continuation. Fuck yeah. And, of course, I'm looking forward to 6.2 because we're getting the Vibe Island. Well, it's not the Vibe Island, but it's the Island Sanctuary, I think it's called, which is just going to be a chill. It's going to be like the new... I, I, I want to say new Bosnia, but not exactly the new Bosnia. It's not going to be like fighting combat. It's just chill content, which is really cool. Um... So I am very much looking forward to that. Still not striking. See, striking striking gear just doesn't fucking exist in this game. <coughs> um so yeah, I'm looking forward to a 6.2. Um, so hopefully that'll be good. I don't even know what games I really am looking out for this year. I don't think there's any set games with dates that I am looking forward to this year. Just because I haven't really been thinking. Uh, I'm assuming this one first. This is the one everyone tends to nuke down first. Oh, no, we're doing this one apparently. Even though everyone was already targeted on the other one. But fuck it, I guess. Um, one is donut, two is point blank. Sometimes I forget that you don't have to wait for the animation to fire before you can dodge. Sometimes you do, because it depends if it leaves behind, um, uh, like, uh, a pile of poison or a pile of fire. Sometimes you do have to wait. I do, one thing I do, I am looking forward to doing while leveling up my alt classes, um, alt jobs, is doing the new, uh, the revamped dungeons. Because uh, my god, is it good that they did that? Because I remember doing so the old dungeons and just being completely fucking lost. Uh, I've got hit by that, definitely, yeah. I completely ate that shit. Um, there's my little sticker of being a dumbass. Um, but I don't even know why I'm... Oh, actually, I built up my, um, two little, uh, chi things. My two little key nuggets. My Luna and, uh, whatever the fuck they're called. Oh, uh, fucking what? I was, I did not read that. Oh, did we lose a player? Oh, was there just one player who just got knocked out and then just nobody revived him? I think someone generally got downed and then just never got revived, so they quit. <laughs> that is rough. Some people are just running in random directions, including me, because I just went straight into a wall. Uh, he's still got loot, which is just useless. God, these guys are fucking just running through this dungeon. 
People fucking zooted. Oh fuck, I talked it off. I feel like this is just the raid wide, isn't it? I pressed the fucking wrong button immediately. I like seeing all the things on my hotbar go glowy, though. That's always cool. Just seeing, like, 50 things light up with the ability to, like, combo them or use them. That's just satisfying. Um, I guess one thing that is, I think, uh, Preach brought it up in a video that's kind of, like, satisfying about playing a caster was just the fact that you don't really notice the cooldown. Uh, the, you know, the, the global cooldown. Uh, GCD because as a caster the time it takes you to actually cast your spell is pretty much the GCD so you just don't really notice it which is really uh it definitely I feel like was true about playing a um uh conjurer um before I became a white mage but it, it definitely is still pretty slow I honestly don't know why I want to do first. I kind of want to do Eureka first just because I want my fucking T-Rex. Like, come on, guys. I just want my fucking T-Rex mount. It's so cool. The only reason I would I do harder content in the game is so I can get mounts. Like, <laughs> I don't care about the fighting. I just want to loot. Um, uh, Ronzo, let's quickly pay attention to this. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so next time it's going to be four. That attack gets a lot of people, it seems. Very unlucky there. Is there just one guy who's just going to be waiting outside the gate because they can't join the combat? That's going to be kind of funny. Just, <gasps> oh, hello. Hey, at least they get free loot. I don't know if they get free loot. I'm going to be honest. I don't think they get any loot because they didn't fucking participate. <laughs> There's no participation trophies in this one here. Fleeting Spark. What is that one? Oh shit, that's the fucking Conal front cast, which... Yep, yeah, nobody in the fucking party knew. That was kind of funny, the fact that nobody knew what that was. Oh, this is the one where they do the cross and then they fan uh, the cross into the two areas. So we've just got to pay attention to see which corners the fans are going to be in. Oh, there's one here anyway, based... So basically, we don't have to... Oh, fuck you. I'm chasing you down, tank. You ain't escaping me. All right, funny just seeing the fucking tank just run in the opposite direction. It's just like, you bastard, you ain't getting away from me. Ward's prominence. Oh no, not the raid wide. Ah, this, this is the attack I nearly fucked up because I forgot what my rotation was. Um, uh, I have actually managed to fully, like, hand in my, uh, uni work now, which is really nice because, uh, no fucking joke, the people at the university forgot to create the hand in point. Uh, because I planned to hand it in, like, first day of this week and then it was just like, nope, you can't because there's no hand in point. Uh... I thought, honestly, it was just hidden or that they were planning to release it on, like, the last week to essentially force people to spend more time on their work. Because, I mean, that is an idea, you know. Make it so that people have to put more effort into their work. Um, instead of people being like, oh, I'm just going to hand it in, like, fucking right now because uh, I can, you know. Some people would probably... I feel like there probably is some people who would just hand it in early because they have the ability to. Um, which is, I guess, could be a reason. But nope, just turns out they forgot. Which is uh, really funny, honestly. <laughs> just fucking... It's like, yep, teachers, you know, the people... They could have failed everyone. I feel like they would have at least done it in the last week, if anything, because... They would probably check like, oh yeah, let's check the, let's see what people have handed in their work and see what's been handed in and shit. Um, and they would have realized, oh shit, there's no hand in point. Um, or at least someone else would have contacted them. Wait, hold on, I know where exactly where to stand now. Oh shit, I stood in the wrong area. 
Oh, did I make it? Oh, you fucking gamer. No mark of shame for me. I like how some fucking streamers... Oh, there's a mark of shame for me. There goes half my HP. That's the cheeky combo, though, is getting um, vulnerabilityed and then just getting fucking wonked. I really wish I did do this. I kind of wish I did this fight like first week just to watch everyone eat shit to all of the moves. Uh, oh, over here. Where are we going? Where are we going, tank? Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm going to go over here and I don't care where the tank goes. The, the tank, uh, most people did not move enough. Most people just stood there and ate the attacks. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Got a lot of uh, disappointment tokens going. I've nearly run out of my disappointment token. One of the classes that is quite uh, interesting to level is Scholar. Because, of course, if you level Scholar, you also get Summoner. Who's the first one in the chain? You're the first one. Dude, you can't just stand still. You have to fucking take the fucking bonk. I feel like some people at this point are just so, like, used to the motions of this trial. Because it has been out for quite a while at this point. Not trial, uh, raid. Um, but they just don't even fucking think about the mechanics. They just hope they don't die. <laughs> and it's not even... Again, this isn't, like, high, high-end content. This is... Fairly simple content in actuality um, when you consider all of the content in the game. Like, this is, this is like, casual content, you know? This isn't high top. This ain't no savage shit, which I haven't done before. Um, I've never done savage content because I'm scared. Oh, well, it's me versus the other person for the fucking pair of striking boots. Don't I already have striking boots? Oh, I already have. Oh, fuck, no, pass. I already have striking book boots, so get fucked, game. Fucking bastard. I already had striking boots. They're the one piece of gear I did have. I'm never going to get my striking. I have better chance of getting my anthropomorphous gear and then uh, leveling it up. Honestly, I probably should do that. You know what? Fuck it. After this, we'll do, some do, we'll do a duty roulette thing. Uh, because fuck it. Yeah, I need to get that up. I've got zero this week. Um, oh, I'm, I am, re oh, I already ready up. Oh, I need to remember to spam Mandeville, uh, when the, um, like, way your soul thing happens. Because if you spam an e like a dance emote that continues when the way thing happens, you can just be dancing as the fucking big AOE shit goes off. I need to go right to the front and then, uh, of course, um, do my little uh, dance. Why did I do that? As heat above, flames below. I don't even know if the names have anything to do with it. I just know the color of the background and the color of the little chimes that hover around him. Oh, this music though as well. It's quite quiet, I'd imagine, in the stream. Because I don't want to deafen people. Oh, it's going to swap, isn't it? It's going to give the Jabay. Yeah, I knew it was going to give the Jabay. I wonder if I could do slash BGM quickly. I'm pretty sure my BGM's like like 50. Oh, shit. There's the uh, stack up. There we go. I, I, I could have potentially timed my um resistance there, but I completely missed it if I did. I'm not even doing good DPS either, which is funny. Um, As above, so below. I don't know what that is. Is that just a raid wide? Yeah, it's just a raid wide. Uh, Fucking big beam. Oh, no, it's going to swap, isn't it? So we just want to run away from the fucking stack up people. Yeah, for some reason, people don't realize that um, 
Watch out. Yep, someone ran straight towards the whole group because they didn't realize how it worked. That's exactly what I did one time. Uh, blue so far. It's going to swap off to orange, isn't it? Oh, wait, shit. Wait. Yeah, yeah, no. We do want to be on this side. My brain fucking flatlined there for a moment. It's like, can I fucking just like... I probably can do slash BGM 70. That's... That's... Yeah, that's not... That's too not too loud. Oh, shit. Oh, is he going to swap? No, he doesn't swap the first time. Oh, it's so fucking good, the music. Wayward Soul. Is that the... Wait... No, this is fucking Thal's balls! Sprint! Oh, good. I wouldn't have made that without Sprint. Which is the circle? It starts over there. Wait for it. There. Oh my god, and he stepped in that. He's just got to follow the rotation gently, but surely... See, I may not be the best at damage, but I can do mechanics when I know them. Well, he's going to swap, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> like, when I know mechanics, I can do them. <laughs> My brain doesn't fucking forget half of the mechanics because people are probably too busy passing. I, I could never do passing because my brain's too small. Aha, here we go. Oh, no, wait, this is just this. Okay. What is he doing? He's just doing a knockback and then fight up two, so he's only going to do two. Knock back into a point blank. <sighs> right, I'm going to go now. Wee! Oh, there go some people. Rough. Right, fight up one is going to be three. Point blank. Uh, knockback. A knockback, I'm assuming. Ooh, knockback into point blank. I get ya. Let me fire that off before I fucking move. Right, let me do a bit of that. Ba, 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 ba. Right, we want to get knocked up this way. Don't say knocked up. God damn it. Saying knocked up. God damn fucking entire ruining knocked up. Ugh. <sighs> That's a fucking clip. Ah, here's Soul's Measure. Yes, this one. Where as soon as the weight, the scales come, I'm just going to start emoting. No, my fucking move. Please spawn the enemy. I need to fire off my attack. Wait, does this work? Oh, no, fuck. Oh, I'm going to miss my attack, isn't it? I just need to fire in on one of them. Oh, and I missed it. Wait, what is my group on? I do love how it fucking just copies whoever it is. Oh, shit. Our one's way off the... Oh, my God. That entire group just got cleaved. Someone's just giving it a hug. I just saw the fucking chat. God damn it. Come on, group. We don't want to be the last one to kill the thing. We want to be first, arguably. Oh, a second. God damn it. Don't, don't join him. You don't want to join him in case you get stack up. Right. Uh, let's see what we get. Oh, they're all on one side. I'm just going to stay here. And oh, fuck. Oh, wait. This side needs to be heavier. Good. Nobody fucking... Holy shit. Oh, well. Some people almost wiped the entire thing. Some people nearly wiped the entire fucking raid. Yeah, I'm fucking mamboing. Nobody can stop me. I'm built different. <laughs> oh, 
I'm assuming this is all the mu. Boom. Oh, I love that. Just everyone's frozen in place from their soul and I'm just like vibing. Come on, baby. Yeah, baby. Let me fucking go. Oh, we've got fucking three bars. I'm not going to fire, though, until... Um, I never fire until at least 10%. That's when I'll consider firing, because that's when it's like... If the raid fucks up, like, my god. Uh, it's blue, but it's going to change to orange. Yep. You can sort of tell if it's going to swap just because of how long it lasts. Oh, someone's fucking ulting already, and I'm just like, dude, it's not even at 10% yet. Oh, God, there's someone here. Oh, we're all fucked. Oh, that's rough. I wonder if it's because no one could see it because of the fucking ult. Did one of our team ult? Uh, it is stack up. Stack up. No, it is not stack up. It is blue. Stand away from me, all of you. I'm fucking running. I'm just going to run away because there's some fucker with the, the follow marker. Oh, no, you want to run inwards, then run outwards. Eh, I did not know that. Clever monkey. <clears throat> just stand next to the group. Uh, is he going to swap? He's swapping. Nice. I really like that. It I like I love the design of this boss in general. Just the fact that it's it's death and life, and he like swaps to like do what he wants to do. Oh, you fucking don't. What is he doing? Point blank. Knock back, knock back over there. So you're gonna need to run all the way over there, and then second knock back, knock back into knock back. Got ya. And go wait for that. Uh, I'm going to wait a bit first, and then I'm going to get my little bop. Woo! Aim me. Aimed. Yo, big brain. I mean, I could have just used my arm's length, but, you know, fuck it. It's more fun getting bopped about. Oh, fuck. Stack up. It's going to be, like, two people, and we're all going to die. And there it goes. Fucking dead. Fucking dead. <gasps> there was striking in there. I see striking. <gasps> Please. I'm not. I'm gonna do the rest. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on everything. You can you can need on these. I'm not getting that. Not getting that. Not getting that. Oh, I already have I don't have radiance and I don't have pilgrimage. Right. Here we go. Striking. 98. Fuck. <laughs> the one other person who could have got it, got it. If that doesn't describe my luck right there, I don't know what will. The fact the one other monk got it. Ugh. That is just my luck. That is just my fucking luck. The one, the one other monk. The one other striker in the entire raid. Got it. That's just my luck. What happened? Just join. Uh, I just finished doing a run of an alliance raid. And um, there, there is, of course, gear for the different classes, right? And it's completely random which class will drop gear. And my class... Uh, like, my class subsect, which is two classes, Samurai and Monk, have striking gear. Striking gear never fucking drops. And this this one time where a piece I needed dropped, there was one other person in the entire raid who also needed it, and they fucking won the roll. There was one other person. <laughs> Literally a 50-50, they fucking got it, essentially. I'll be fine if there was, like, three other people who could potentially get it. But there was one other fucker. To be fair, they deserve it because they did more DPS than me. So they, I feel like, just by right, they deserved it. But I still fucking, the one time, is just bullshit. Um, 
Yeah, I know. Uh, it was good to see you though, mate. Uh, let's do duty roulette then on expert. Is this going to be... Yeah, it's expert dungeons of which there's like four. Do I even remember any of the expert dungeons? No, but fuck it. Let's go. I don't remember any of the expert dungeons. Gamble all your money. Fucking go to the golden saucer. I can't even go to the Golden Saucer. I've already done all my Golden Saucer daily stuff. Ugh. I'll do another run of the Alliance Raid after this fucking dungeon, because I want my fucking striking gear, goddammit. Um, oh, wait, I can turn the BGM down. God, I just want to do that one fucking... I just want that one... Fucking piece of gear, you bastard game. Six minutes. Uh, you only get 40 astronomy. I think you need like 400 astronomy to actually get a fucking piece of gear. But to be fair, you're meant to do your daily rotate, rotate, daily roulettes to get that shit. So it makes sense why I don't have it. How much revelation? Wasn't revelation before? I think revelation was the old currency and I got my gear with revelation? Oh, I should repair my gear. <laughs> uh, supplier? Oh, repair man. Boink. I guess we're just fucking ro waiting on, but yeah, of course I'm going to be like number 13 on my roll because I'm like DPS everywhere. Keep saying gear and I'm going to gear you. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what is gear you going to mean? It just means like you're going to hit someone with a fucking gear stick you took off a car. I mean, that probably would hurt. I mean, they are like metal. It's like a small pipe. But they tend to have, like, grips on the top, which would slightly cushion the impact. Not much, but slightly. Ugh. I wish you could do Eureka while you were waiting to get into um a duty, but you can't do any of the Eureka shit because it technically counts as a fucking instance. So I've just got to wait. I've just got to be sad and fucking wait to get into a duty. I hope I get into the robot one. The robot one's fucking cool. To be fair, I don't mind any of them, but I think the robot one's the coolest. From the uh, current expert stuff. What even are the expert stuff? It's... Oh, wait, there's four? Oh, shit, I forget. Yeah, Asdal is the latest one, so that would count. And you'd get 50 from doing it. Okay. Stigma Dreamscape, that's my favorite one. I don't remember any of these had to even do these so i'm just gonna fucking yolo it with my eyes closed um it's it's fucking story content anyway so it's not even that difficult i also need to oh shit i need to also grab the latest uh extreme as well end singer i need to do that wait did that say fucking you need 590 gear no i thought it said you needed 590 oh, wait that's not even the high-end duty these are the high-end duty. Wait, never mind. I'm dumb. This is just... This is... Oh, no, that is, yeah. Minstrel's Ballad. Okay. She knows. Yeah, because that's high-end trials. Because for some reason, high-end duty and high-end trials are different areas. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I'm not doing Savage. You need what? What? Uh, Yeah, you need... I wonder what gear you need for it, though. Because this one's going to be... Seed ray fire for details. I want to just see if... Oh, yeah. 7.5 and then 600, I'm assuming. Oh, only 5.80. Ah, interesting. I thought you need high item gear for that. Because I've got full 5.80 and one piece of 5.90. I thought that was going to be more egregious, honestly. Just going to fucking walk in circles so the thing goes through. I don't even bother trying to do the platforming of the tower. That's not even the tower. That's the wrong fucking direction. I wish you could fly in cities, to be fair, but I understand why you can't, because they probably don't want people to 
glitch into areas they're not meant to get into. I mean, people find a way, but it's a lot more difficult. How do you even start the parkour? Do you start on the bridge? I don't remember how you start the platforming. I think you have to start on the bridge. You can fly. You're just not the right class. <laughs> you can fly. You just swap off to healer and then you just gain infinite flight because fuck you, I guess. To be fair, I have anything. A healer would probably want flight because then they could just fuck off and heal from a distance. Taliban, use your bomber skill, God's sakes. Um, Where do you even start the plat? Oh, you start the platforming here. Yeah, I don't remember any of the fucking... God, I do not remember how to do that. No, I, I, I do not remember even slightly how to do this towers parkour. You and your mercy, the fuckable bird healer. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <gasps> oh yeah, Overwatch 2's a beta now. Apparently, from what I've seen and heard, it's just Overwatch 1.1, essentially. It's like, basically not even a sequel. Ow! The six minutes has passed. Fuck. You're a beta. Cheers, mate. <laughs> oh, look. So I'm fucking hit level 70 on Carpenter. Oh, it's just not going to fucking show. Oh, wait. Nope, not there. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. 70 on Carpenter. Oh, cool. Oh, monkey. I'll fucking get at least this second jump done. Oh my god, I've completely forgotten how to do the platforming. <laughs> I've done the entire fucking challenge thing and it's just gotten nowhere. Right. You'd be racist. Piss pots. Well, me calling Overwatch bad. <laughs> What? Ooh. Wait, hold on. <gasps> oh! Hey. I don't know where you got that from. It's just going to be a clip of just like... Oh, it's actual parkour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all actual parkour. This is all... um. This was uh this is so that you can get a like little it's basically just like it I don't even know if it oh fuck me. Ow. I don't even know if it unlocks anything. I just know it's in like where is it? <sighs> Logs? Sightseeing. Yeah, it, it's just this. I don't even know if this unlocks stuff. But I've 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 climbed to the top of the tower. And I also landed on the lamppost as well. So you literally, to get onto this lamppost here, you have to go all the way up the fucking tower and then jump off and land on that. So some people straight up will just climb the entire tower, go to jump for the lamppost and just whiff. And then just be depressed, I guess. Because there's not much, much else you can do. Oh wait, can you actually sit on these? Hold on. Hold on, game. Hey, you can just sit on the benches here. That is, that's not even a fucking bench. That's like half a cardboard box. Where's the... Sh I, I don't like benches without a backrest because I'm just like, bruh, if you're going to fucking chill on a bench, at least give me a fucking backrest. I don't want to fix my posture. And it'll do. <laughs> half a cardboard box and it'll do. Yeah, lean yeah, I mean, that's probably the best strat, honestly. It's just leaning against someone else is probably just the best strat. It's just like, bruh, just fucking give Bench with fucking back bit to it. Weird. Fucking Nihongo. I'm in fucking Nihongo town at the moment, essentially. Oh, look, there's the actual ship from the raid campaign. Or seeing each other's out like a Russian nesting doll, biggest to smallest. I feel like you're just going to end up fucking crushing the bottom person, even if they are the, 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 the largest individual.
<sighs> oh, well, I guess I'm over here now. At this point, I'm not even doing parkour. I am just fucking walking in circles. Hey, I, I'm three on the queue, though. Very close, boys. I guess some people probably just farmed the latest crystals just by doing these over and over again. Because you get 50. I'm assuming that's not 50 every time. It might be 50 every time now that I think about it. So you can just spam that shit and get 50 each time and they just pop off. Because you've got two types. You've also got the um these ones, which you get fucking nothing for. Hey. Let's go. What are we getting? Stigma scape. It's going to be the latest one, most likely, I feel. Boom, it is the latest one. Oh, wow. I don't remember any of these. Oh, two people are actually new to it, I think. Oh, no, no one is new. They just don't have the ability to skip the cutscene. Thank you, game. I don't know if triple triad matches are allowed. That person must be new to this bit because they're watching a cutscene fully. Or they're just vomiting at their keyboard. Oh, no, they're not. What? I'm very confused. Hey! One of them. Oh! So, yeah, they are new to it. Okay. I'm guessing we're pulling a bunch of packs. Yeah, we're just going to keep running and pulling packs. As is people's want. I'm just keeping them. And then here comes the second pack. I'm guessing we're doing two packs at a time. Yes, we are doing two packs at a time, as is the basic idea. Whee! Hadouken! Uh, it's nice to just do some chill fucking uh, dungeon content after doing raid content because it's just it's literally just the definition of turn your brain off might as well just beat the shit out of the last guys bum, 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 bum. this dungeon is pretty cool to be fair for the latest dungeon oh i do remember the final boss now actually now that i think about it i do remember the final boss how his mechanics work And then here comes the second pack of guys, and then we just fucking bruh. I do kind of just like how once you get used to the game and shit, you just farm the enemies in the dungeons. Like, they're meant to be obstacles, but they just become... They're not even obstacles once you get used to dungeons. They're just speed bumps, I guess. Yeah, that's probably the best way to put it, because they just slow you down. That's all they do. That's that's pretty accurate for how just they they just they just speed bumps. Whoop 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 whoop. All right now we can do the first boss. I'm pretty sure. Ugh. Speed time to accelerate. Oh, this is the guy who does the. Oh, fuck, I forgot what this guy does, actually. I think he stabs one of the tails into the ground, and then that does something. That's a raid-wide, yeah. Like, party-wide, I guess is more accurate. Okay, and then he digs with one of his tails. Okay, yeah, meaning he's gonna do... Oh, no, it, he does, like, a big circle, and then where it ends is a big uh, AoE. Yes. Okay, I did remember that. I'm not even optimizing my attack, I'm going to be honest. This is two that then 
from double is it oh fuck me oh well i'm just gonna get eaten by that okay so that's two that form two attacks okay god the fact that i've actually got to remember how the fucking dungeons work is funny they even give you a vulnerability for fucking up a mechanic which is very generous wait for it oh shit i went the wrong direction entirely i'm gonna be honest it does so little damage though which is weird I mean, the tank's even got two vulnerabilities, because just fuck it. Big wave, raid wide. That's actually going to damage me because I have a vulnerability, but it literally doesn't matter because this is, this is story content right here. Story content is essentially just the easiest content in the game. Like, straight up, bosses have two mechanics. Okay, now this is where it gets fucky. Oh, fuck me that... Go that side of the map! Oh, fuck, I'm gonna get hit by... God damn it, why are they fucking going not where I want them to? You'd think I've never done this dungeon before, just by the fact that I'm eating every mechanic. Oh, this will actually kill me. This I'm actually dead. Oh, shit. How did I not die? Uh, that just feels morally wrong, honestly. You not get? Oh, you do get loot, but who cares? It's what five seventy, I think. I'm just gonna greed it because you can sell it. <laughs> oh, I, you can disenchant it, more exact. Teleporter bears you deep beneath the waves. I literally don't have the fucking speed boost. I don't have sprint. Shock. I need to catch up with the group. Free loot. Again, just greed everything. Because you can disenchant it for shit. Alright, we want to focus on the teleport, don't we? We just want to kill this shit as quickly as possible. Because less enemies that way. I've killed this thing pretty fast before, like when doing the duties, it's quote unquote solo. You can kill it before the first group. Ah, oh, no. There you go. You can just kill it before it even spawns more groups of enemies, which is just the idea. Whereas the tank needs to keep focus on the entire group. Did they just fucking disenchant something mid combat? Because I fucking, that's mad respect. We. The next boss, if I remember correctly, just sort of charges in a direction. And you just want to stay out the fucking... You just want to stay behind him. Wait for the group. And wait for the pull. As much as this style of dungeon is formulaic, in a way, as in, like, it's very just... It's just repeat shit. Um, it is nice, though, kind of just being like, you know what each dungeon is going to be like. It's just like, yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know what you're going to get into. It's not like when you do a dungeon, it's just like. You get into a room and it's just like, yeah, sure, you're going to be fighting this many mobs this many times and then the dungeon ends. So I, I will take at least comfort in that knowledge. Whereas the old dungeons, uh, what have now been revamped, of course, were just fucking confusing as shit. They're like Dark Souls levels where you just fucking wander around and get fucking lost for ages. Like, I remember doing... It was the main one I got lost in was Haruk Manor. I'm pretty sure it's called. 
And also, I think the one where you... It's one of the early ones where it's like in a cave. I got lost in another one as well. Where I straight up went the wrong direction completely. Got completely lost and didn't know where to go. Yeah, this guy just charges? Hmm. This guy lights up panels on the floor. I mean, he's a chariot, so I'd assume he charges. Now, what do these do? These do... Oh, wait, that's it. You want to stand on the non-barrier side? Yeah. You want to stand on the non-barrier side because you literally can't hit there anyway. Oh, I thought someone was going to die. Yeah, there goes someone. Oh, rip. First death. Some cat again. That's very much... That's exa they exa Oh, wait. They're new to the raid, actually. Never mind. But the other person... Oh, shit. That's two people down. Oh, that's the fucking healer down. Can you even wipe? I don't know if you can wipe this raid. Can you jump off? You can't even leave, so you just have to hope they kill you. So, I guess... Oh, shit, where the, where's no laser? Here. Oh, shit, right here. Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention to the fucking shield. Don't worry, I've got so much sustain, I can keep myself alive. Oh, I do not have enough sustain to keep up with the fucking poison. Unless I do. Oh, yo, can I keep up with the poison? Oh, I'm a fucking gamer. Uh-oh, that's really not good, because that just means I'm going to take damage. Because I literally can't fucking stop that. Ow. If me and the tank fucking managed to do this, this would be fucking hilarious. It would be a major upset. Oh, thank you for following me, Pedakin. The notifications probably going to go through soon. Right, uh, which direction is the shield? That means I need to get, like, right up here. You need to get, like, right up to the side. Yes. Okay, nice. I didn't fuck that up. If I fucked that up, I would be dead. Hey, as long as I don't fuck up any more mechanics, I should be fine. Oh, never mind. I am dead to this, most likely. Oh, I'm alive still! <laughs> Hey, if he does it again, I'm dead. If I can just fucking survive... I just... No attacks for like 10... No raid wide for like 6 seconds. Please, boss. Yes! I get my fucking heals. Yes! Do as many attacks as possible. I need to be really close here just so I can get attacks off. Me and this tank are both just fucking living. Right, now I can survive another raid wide. And if they do another... Which one... Which direction is it going to be? Hey, I guessed it. The fact that I've actually managed to regenerate my HP is awesome. Oh, well, there goes my HP. But, oh, wait, no, no. Oh, well, I fucked myself by... Yeah, yeah, I fucked myself by fucking... <laughs> uh, yeah, return to starting point, because I can just fucking revive and come back through. Oh, wait, I can just wait for them to come back through this area and then revive me. I believe in you, Tank. <laughs> the fucking Tank got this. And there goes the tank being a beast. I'm just going to wait for them to enter the arena so they can revive me. Yeah, are they going to revive me? Wait, where's the healer? Wait, where's the healer? 
I just realized, where the fuck is the healer? Do I have to return to the starting point to go get the healer? I'm going to return to the starting point just because the fucking healer. <laughs> oh, the healer was confused or something. Oh, wow, you teleport you right back here. Greed. Always greed on everything. Woo! Yeah, Warrior Sustain, though. That, that's one of the reasons I do want to level up Warrior. It's because Warrior just has so much fucking sustain. Like, Dark Knight has the... Like, immune... Like, has the resistance... But the resistance doesn't matter for warrior because they can just fucking tank, take every hit and then just heal all of it in five seconds. Like watching a uh, Captain Grimm streams where he does all of like trials and dungeons with like a full party of just warriors, and it's just like yeah, they just they just don't fucking die. Which I'm wondering how um, balanced they are in a uh, PvP. Just with the fact that how they can just sort of sit there and be like, I I just don't die. <laughs> dying is cringe. They they literally just do the fucking dying is cringe. So that that's definitely one point towards me leveling warrior, I can say that for certain. It's just don't die. This next boss, I should remember, he does the spin and then he does the curtains. Mimics! It's fucking Dark Souls! Except for they're nowhere near as terrifying. Thank Christ. Uh, I need to pop my other thing. I'm going to pop my second one as soon as we get close. There, yeah, there we go. I also really... I, I, I've got mixed things about wanting to play tank. Is that playing tank seems really fucking cool. Just being in the middle of everything. But I'm also scared because I don't want to like miss pull and shit. I don't want to pull too aggressively. Like... Because I know that once I get to high level tank. It's very much sort of just like manage my mechanics. And pull two groups. I feel like as long as I'm a tank. As long as I just do the rule of pull two tanks. And there you go. Pull two groups. Sorry not pull two tanks. Pull two groups. There you go. I think I should be mostly fine. Womp. And then we get the cutscene. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Oh, wait, it is. It's this one. I want a ball dance. Just wait for the last member to enter. Oh shit, we going? Wait, why are we going? The healer's not here. The he the healer's... Uh-oh, this is going to go interestingly. That's all I can say for certain. That warrior just fucking saw the bot. Huh, interesting. Oh, here comes the spin to win, baby. Here it comes. Right, I've got to make sure I point my thing in the right direction. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, fuck. There we go. He's nearly fucking half. It's like nearly a quarter down as well. Like, Jesus Christ, we just ate him. To be fair, good thing the spikes don't kill you in this map, which makes sense. Oh, wait, where's the um, ropes? Where's the ropes? Where's the ropes? Which one is he pulling? Oh, no, that was just a raid wide. I thought he was going to be pulling one of the ropes, but never mind. This is where he pulls the ropes, I think. Great, right, okay, which is it going to be? He's going towards green to stand at yellow. How big are the AoEs, though? Oh, they're really small anyway. I didn't even have to avoid them that much. I thought they were going to be, like, really big, but I guess not. <laughs> oh, 
I like that there's like no punishment for not stacking on someone. Like you can just leave them to die and only they will die. I, there's probably some exceptions to those rules in like all of the dungeons. Ah, I didn't get my attack off again. I've lost my timing. Right, okay. It's I want to go this way and then this way and then th I'm just going to go across. <gasps> I made several mistakes. Can I go this way? Oh, I didn't make it in time. That would have actually been fucking based if I actually made it in time. Oh, well, that's me going through fucking spikes. <laughs> that, that, that attack has gotten me, like, every time, I'm pretty sure. Like, that attack fucks me up a lot. Hey, at least I can get my big thing off without it fucking off. Right, now this is the raid wide, so I better bump. Um, I don't know what other, uh, other games are going to be playing, because I'm going to have quite a bit of free time for myself. Of course, applying to jobs and shit is pretty much what a lot of my time is going to be. But I'm going to have roughly some good solid free time now that I've handed in my final piece of uni work, and I'm waiting to... Because it's not like, oh, I'm out of uni already. No, I've still got one thing I need to do for uni, which is a, uh, I need to do a uh, presentation. For my work. Um, oh, I'm dead. He oh my god, I nearly died. <laughs> they fucking saved my life. Right, let's give it to the new player. Let's give it to the tank because they fucking solo that one boss. They kind of deserve it. Oh, you actually get Gil for doing the roulette. Greed. 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 Greed is good. Oh, they're not, they're not going to be able to grab the shit. So I'm just going to peace. <laughs> Alright, let's disenchant, let's desynthesis some of this uh, stuff just to get my desynthesis up. I don't even know what class I'm going to use as my desynthesis class. Carpenter, I like carpenter. Well, to be fair, I think it depends on your class, and I think you can just desynthesize no matter what. <gasps> Did I get anything to desynthesize? No, <laughs> I don't think I got any. Oh wait, there's something there. I think I got that. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, it just goes automatically to whatever class. Nice. Oh, I got a Master Pugilist Ring, which is useless. Uh, oh, I'd actually have to look for all of the gear, won't I? Uh, I can't even tell, because my fucking armor stuff is so just thrown together. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I think I'll go to a toilet and then we're going to do one more Alliance Raid one for today's stream. And then I'll head off. Hopefully I can actually get a piece of striking gear. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, I am back for the last thing I will do today. Hey, look, I already gained 100 of that. Nice. I, mean, I could do a leveling roulette thing, um, which is quite a shame that you have to be level 90 to get the fucking tombstone of astronomy. Um, 
It's, it's really annoying, to be fair, <laughs> because you can't level up your other classes while gaining astronomy. I guess that's probably to balance shit, but <clears throat> that's annoying. Because um, you have the 50, 60, 80 dungeons, which is... Uh, um, you have maintenance. Oh, because you have all the different things. It, this is why getting a fucking tank up would be useful, because all of these things want tanks. Um... But we're just going to do the last raid, and then we'll end for today. So yeah, no Dark Souls 2 today, just because I don't feel like doing it. Uh, wink. You can never fucking find it. There you go. Right. Oh, wait, do this. Oh, I need to turn the fucking stream over. Uh, or I could, um, I could do one of the fucking earlier dungeons. F14, there it is. Um, I could do one of the earlier things, because look at that fucking wait time. We'll wait like five minutes, see if I get a lucky tink through. If I don't, we'll do just any of the other, like, main story and whatever the fuck dungeons. Oh, fuck it, I might just let go to Eureka and piss about. <laughs> I could just go fuck it and go to Eureka. <laughs> um, maybe it's Eureka. You go all the way over there. My pinky hurts. Oh shit! Look at that. Yeah, see, it says eighteen minutes, but that's just not accurate. It's sort of just like a. I don't know how the average wait. I would assume that the average wait time is based on um like when was the last time to get into a raid but yeah seems very inconsistent with the actual wait times yeah i'm probably just gonna half ass this raid and there's not gonna be any striker gear which is gonna make me sad but yeah right maybe i'll get striker gear let's fucking go let's see let's see if i get lucky I'm going to click my skills. Alright. Last thing I'll do for today. If people want to ready up for it. This should take the last 30-40 minutes. And the next stream, I don't know what I'm doing. I may play Dark Souls 2. I may just play more of this. But like, work on leveling my classes. Or again, do Eureka. We will see. Right then. Yo, yo. Oh, someone he hasn't done it, so he might actually get a free boost. An extra, like, Amphimorphous boost just because someone hasn't done it. You can just get up to 2,000 of that. God. Maybe I have to buy a piece of gear soon, to be fair. I'll probably just buy the chest piece first, because that's my still locked in. I mean, I've got materia on these, so I doubt it's even going to be an upgrade. I need to materia all of this shit. I haven't, like, pentamelded or anything, because I haven't got into any of the fucking high-level shit. I got people... I think that person must be playing on, like, console then. Because I see that, and I think that's either a macro or they're on console or some shit. I don't know. I don't know what the fucking arrows mean. Does it mean translation? Because that would be cool if there was just, like, a hello button and then it automatically has, like, all the translations. You just click it and it goes, hello, whichever language, to whoever's seeing it. But it also cause some confusion, I think. That person, I think, just wanted to say yo backs and he hit P. Oh, someone fucking aggroed almost immediately. That's not what I was expecting, I'm gonna be honest. Oh no, I've been fucking thundered. What will I do? Oh, uh, what I do? Oh, no. Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally fucking, like, fat-fingered that, I'm pretty sure. I need to move my hand up, because I'm not actually hitting, like, half of my buttons. 
Oh, there's a samurai in my group anyway. So even if fucking striking does drop, it's definitely not going to me. Oh, I'm actually doing the worst DPS. Good for me. Maybe I just got hope that they wipe. Pretty much most of my uh, hope from uh, for doing a good DPS is just... Oh, fuck me. I got bumped into the edge zone because I completely forgot you need to actually not get hit into the edge. I forgot that was even a mechanic. It was the fact that you just don't want to go into the edge. I can heal myself pretty much. No need to waste heals on me. I do like the Alliance Raids because it's a fuck ton of people, but the only problem with it is that old Alliance Raids, are, it's hard to get people to commit to that because it's old content. Why would they do that? Well, I guess veteran players. Except for, like, veteran players who are... I don't fucking know. Existing. Uh, I don't know. I, I have no idea why a veteran player would do the old... I guess they have the roulette, which I guess is the closest thing, but I feel like... A lot of veteran players probably just don't do Alliance Roulette just because of how much fucking time it takes. Like, I wouldn't. Like, I don't because I'm just like, ugh, that's way too much time. And you need so many people to even get into one of those. The fact that you could, like, even think about doing that with a group of people seems ridiculous. Oh, is this the uh, big attack? Yes. Uh, by the way, when I say I think I'm doing low DPS, I'm purely using aggro as, like, a mark for that. I don't even know if aggro means anything in terms of damage. I just think it does. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if aggro has anything to do with the damage you're doing or if it's purely just, like... Because, of course, you've got the aggro moves, which, yeah, of course, like, healers get high aggro if they're healing and tanks get high aggro if they're tanking. But other than that, I don't know if, like, aggro means anything. Oh, shit. No, don't look at the adventure plate. <laughs> oh, I can show off my adventure plate after this. It's very simple, but I can just sort of show it. It just feels like a, a, a right at this point. Adventure plate is how people judge people. Right. Yellow is fast. Blue is slow. I've got to remember that this time. Oh, wait, you just look for whoever's charged. I forget about that. Three, four, five, six. Go to the side. It's as big as this little ring of influence, which is cool. Sometimes they have attacks in this game that, like, are bigger than they look, which is a bit annoying. It's just with, like, the different types of visual indicators. There are some mechanics in this game that are very archaic. And not as in design as, like, just not know what you do the first time, but then make sense every other time. It sort of just feels like they were designed poorly. The main one I can think of, and I think what a lot of people agree with, is um, the one, you know, the Stormblood Alliance Raid has this one uh, encounter where you need to... Uh, Dodge a... Not dodge. You need to make sure a sniper shot doesn't hit your weak spot. And the way it does it is by having your weak spots all be... have. You basically just got to rotate your character until you're, you're not pointing a glowing part at him. But it's very confusing. It's hard, it's hard to explain, but it's very confusing in the situation because... The glowing bit, you would think, is like, oh, that's where I'm, like, ready to protect. Because you have a gap in your defenses. I'm pretty sure it says, like, there's a gap in your defenses. And there quite literally is a gap in the circle that's surrounding you. And you'd think, oh, that's the gap. But no, in actuality, the gap is what you want to show. Which confused me, because that just sounds like you're showing your weak spot. I think... But then again, if you had it the reverse, where the glowing bit was the strong part, and then the rest was just gap, I feel like it would it would be too easy of a mechanic, because you'd instantly just be like, okay, point the shield. I feel like the whole gap in the shield 
is on purposefully confusing to make it harder. Is that good design? No, in my opinion. But it might just be how they want to do it. I swear my fucking left pinky just doesn't want to exist anymore from how much I used it. I think you just walk up to the boss and just not attack them and they won't do shit to you. Oh shit, that's destructive static. What am I doing? I was completely not paying attention to the mechanics. Like I'm sure a lot of people do in these raids because... Brain turn off. Electricity. Oh no. God, how do people play these games all day without their pinkies just disintegrating? Because my like pinky fucking hurts after doing this a bit. I just probably shouldn't play this over the next few days or any like by the weekend so i probably will want to play something i need to give my pinky a fucking relax vr chat's pretty good pinky relax because you don't ever use your pinky in vr except for unless you like smack it against a table honestly i actually played a bit of vr chat recently and it wasn't bad because i just simply went to well like chill world well not chill world no i avoid chill world like the fucking plague i went to like i want to say like exploration world in a way you know worlds where people don't just you know sit in an area and talk you know pretty much that shit where like i, I would i want to say role play star world but that's not even accurate um, but I feel like that is one way to put, you know, shit like the Great Pug, you know, worlds in that vein where people are just fucking about and a lot of the time you can just pess about and have fun instead of just having conversations. Because uh, a lot of people use, of course, VR chat as both a, kind of just use it as a advanced Discord call. Um, which I mean, if you're gonna do that, that's fine, go ahead, but that's just not for me. If I want to speak to someone and do fucking nothing, I will just go on Discord, because then at least I could just play a game, or have YouTube on in the background or something, rather than just sitting there with this big hulking plastic mask on, um, and just be like, yep, I've got fucking... Oh shit, I didn't mean to fucking... I just, I just held right-click. Why have I marked him? Oh wait, because that's just how you target people. Um, I just don't get the point of like spending like 400, 500 quid just to use Discord. I think the thing that saddens me the most though about people who just sort of sit and talk in VR chat is that it, the game is so much more. It's like going on youtube but then only watching like sports commentary videos and nothing else it's just like yeah you can do that but i feel like you're missing so much to be fair i feel like a lot of the people who do uh, just vibe in lobbies probably you know um they probably spend the day doing the stuff and then they relax in a chill world they probably are stuff like that um but it it's still just a bit saddening to me seeing i think it's just mainly again the r chat boomer mentality uh because i played back in 2017 uh late 2017 of course and i feel it's pretty it was pu it's not even to do with the game itself and stuff changing it's mainly ways well, it's not even to do with people it's just it's mainly to do with how the game changed over time because back in the beginning of course every world that came out was fucking new and different because it was very new not many people knew how to create worlds not many people knew how to create avatars and shit so every world felt like a fresh experience um and everyone would always be jumping into new worlds and shit because you know they're just like oh i want to see what new worlds are here and what cool shit i can explore whereas these days there are so many new worlds and there are so many worlds in general and it's extremely bloated so that people are just like you know what instead of like exploring these like fifty thousand new maps which i don't care for i'm just gonna stay in one area and i guess another thing is that in the beginning of vr chat much like most things 
again, everything was new. Everything was different. Whereas these days, so many maps release are just like chill world, but in a cottage. Chill world, but in a cinema. Chill world, but at nighttime when it snows. Like, so many worlds are just the exact same fucking world, but just with different names and shit. Which, I mean, it makes sense. People see that Chill Worlds are popular and they make a Chill World themselves. Or maybe they just really like Chill Worlds and like, yo, I want to do my own. Which is cool. But I feel like with just how many worlds are created, you'd think that, oh, there are so many new worlds. They're all unique and different. And it's just like, nope. Some of them are. Let's, let's not even be wrong. Hell, there's a fucking FTL world in um, VR chat. And I bet like, it, the FTL world blew my mind because I bet there's maybe less than 1% of the VR chat player base knows what FTL even is. And the fact that there's an FTL world is amazing. Um, and the fact that it's like awesome multiplayer FTL, that shit's great. It's a shame that a lot of it, a lot of the lobbies are just private lobbies because of course a lot of, it's a, it's a group, it's a cooperative game. So a lot of people are just like, oh, I'm just going to get my mates together. And then, you know, play it. But I, I love just the chaos of a public lobby. Like, as much as it's obviously, like, going to be far smoother. And you're probably going to have a higher chance of completing it with just your friend. But I think it's just so fun doing it. But, like, an extremely fucking, like, public lobby. Where half of them don't even know what they're doing. And you get introduced. I think that's also... I guess it's me. I guess there's also the whole thing of like with a bunch of new players and shit. A lot of the new players, of course, with quests and stuff are children. And I feel like a lot of people don't go in public lobbies purely because they don't want to deal with children. <laughs> uh, which I guess is fair. Children can be annoying and stuff. Uh, and I also another thing, as you know, VR becomes more and more accessible that's both a good and a bad thing it's good because more technology will be developed towards it but in games like vr chat and such uh since vr chat vr is way more accessible people aren't just gonna people are gonna just piss about because they don't need to be they don't need to have any care or second thoughts they're like yeah vr is fucking easy everyone can have it so people are just more you know they're more carefree about it like, when they get VR, they're not thinking, like, oh, I want to have a good experience in my VR. They're like, oh, I got my VR. I'm just going to fuck with people. Um, I don't know. I just, 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 just something, I, I, I think, with my small brain. Someone get knocked off, please. Damn it. Every time that happens, I dream for someone to just get yeeted into the ether. I, I'm just losing complete DPS at this point just because I'm just not even thinking or caring because I'm just talking about other shit. This boss fight's actually been going on for quite a while, I'm going to be honest. I'm surprised how long that fight lasted. Of course the other samurai has to be in my group as well. I feel like there's got to be some sort of hidden thing in this game where if you just keep getting bad rolls, you just suddenly get a super roll. I feel like that would just be fair. It probably doesn't exist, but that would be nice. Because I get really bad rolls consistently. I can't remember the last time I got a 50 plus roll. I maybe did it with music stuff, but nothing else. Which one's going to be marked? Oh shit. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be this guy. I thought one of them was aggroed on me for a second. There we go. About time we got a marker. <laughs> one is point, one is big, two is going. One. Hit my move before it runs out. I feel like I could... I, I, I feel like I've talked about old VR chat like 50 fucking times at this point. Just because I am straight up like full boomer. Like back in my day, we fucking just died. We didn't even have hospitals. We just, we just fucking died like a man. 
Um, yeah. yeah. It's how it is. Um, oh shit, one sec. Boop. I don't know. Um, oh, other stuff. I can't even think of other shit that I've been doing, really. Because, of course, I just finished my uni work, so I've pretty much just been this game, Cyberpunk. I do want to play more Elden Ring, to be fair. That's one thing I do want to put more time into. Uh... It's just, it, it's, Elden Ring's very much a high commitments game, and I'm at a bit in the game where I'm just sort of like, ugh. Uh, I'm at Rail Lucaria, so it's just sort of just like, ugh. And how I even, I did Rail Lucaria, and I was fighting the boss right uh, on one of my characters, and I got to the second phase, and my game crashed. <laughs> I think I must have a bug in my copy of the game, because every time I have a phase transition in my game, my game crashes. Uh, I, it happened every time when I was assisting my friend on, uh, Melania, and it happened with Renala as well, so I don't know what that issue is. I'll try again probably tomorrow, maybe. Oh, we just see, what the fuck, that guy can just fly. What is that one fucking guy doing running all the way around back? That's a black mage, isn't it? What are they? Oh, they're a healer. They're a fucking conjurer. What are they doing? They just they just going on a fucking trip, honestly. I respect that. What? Oh, that. Wee. Um I know some games... Uh, I did play a bit of FTL, actually. I did, like, one run of FTL. And that was fun. I probably will return it. FTL is, like, a roguelike I have yet to actually beat a run of. Because, my God, is that game fucking difficult. I got I got to the fucking second phase of the final boss. And I died. <laughs> it's, it's a very much... FTL is very much, like, the definition of an endurance roguelike. It's all about just enduring it's not about winning it's not about like destroying shit it's about just living how effective can your ship live of course much like most roguelikes there's a bit of luck involved and my bad luck was just not getting a single fucking new weapon i think i got one weapon and every time i went to a store i would not have the money to buy a weapon it would either, there would be no weapon, or I wouldn't have the money, because I would need repairs, and it was kind of sad. Because was also, I, one of the most satisfying things in fucking gaming is using a laser weapon in FTL, because just drawing that line, and just, oh, that's so fucking good. Five. I, I did count, don't worry, it's four next time. Just drawing that laser and watch so much damage tick through and just watch each room fucking go dun 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 disappear. That's the only shame I got about the VR FTL is just the weapons are just you target a room, you shoot, and then it deals damage. I wish it I wish it had the whole like map where you can like point and shit and like drawing a fucking laser would be so fucking good. Drawing just a giant laser to cleave an entire ship. Oh shit's fucking great. I do also need to play um, my other roguelikes, to be fair. I just haven't gone back to them. Because roguelikes is just a nice game to jump in and then just play a bit and then jump out. Like, do one or two runs and fuck off. They're very good just sort of backup games, I want to say. When you don't... You have, like, no idea what you want to play. So you're just like, fuck it, I'll play a roguelike. Uh, the ones I need to play through, the ones I have, is World of Horror, which I very much need to be in the mood for, because it's a fucking horror game. Uh, and Slay the Spire are the two uh, big ones. Slay the Spire is cool as well, but the problem with Slay the Spire and me is just, whenever I play Slay the Spire, it just makes me want to play a Yu-Gi-Oh game. And I have Legacy of the Duelist uh, as just a Yu-Gi-Oh game to just hammer through and play shit. It's just how I think, really. Slay the Spy is a good game. It's not even like, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! just better. Slay the Spy sucks. It's just... I. It just... Every time I play Slay the Spy, I just wish I could be, like, using, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because I prefer... I like the whole deck stuff in Yu-Gi-Oh! Where it's, like, using archetypes and, like, building a, 
a full deck, whereas Say the Spire, there isn't any of the fun synergies in Say the Spire. There's no, like, searching for a fucking archetype. There's no, like, setting up a board and then just seeing what you can do with it. There's no, like, getting a super strong boss monster on the field. Like, that's just the only thing I guess I do... That's the reason I sort of gone to Yu-Gi-Oh! is just to get those feelings of, like, setting up a strong boss monster. Setting up, um... Just a really strong board. Reacting to, like, all the trap cards. It's, it's just the interplay and stuff, you know, that I really like in Yu-Gi-Oh! Which, of course, Slay the Spy just can't have because it's not that type of card game, obviously. I think Inscription would be closer because it's more of... I feel like Inscription would definitely be more up my alley. Especially because it has fucking Tribute Summoning as, like, the main mechanic, which is funny. Um, I do want to get Inscription at some point, but at the moment it just came out, so it's still quite expensive. This is going to be four times because last time was five, so it's going to end up... Oh, fuck. Actually, I should know where it's going to end up. Yeah. I like how some people, I feel like, generally, again, just just ignore the mechanic and just like, yeah, I'm just going to eat it because fucking who cares. That mechanic, I feel like everyone just forgets. They forget that's even a fucking mechanic. Wonk. The only two things I want from this, though, it's a slaps. Wow. The only two things I want from this is more striker gear and the minion. Because I, I want the minion. Who doesn't want a little anime girl minion? I didn't even get the 2B minion because this game fucked me over like three times in a row. Right, which way are we going? Because I'm going to wait for everyone. I'm just going to move over here because I don't trust the party. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to get tank busted. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That was entirely my fault. I made them just fucking panic. Just stay behind the boss. is just a nice roll. I'll do it then. One thing I will say I dislike is the fact that I think it might just be on, I, because I'm on legacy controls. Is because um, I just realized I'm, I'm, I'm not on legacy controls. Where's the starter? Starter. My br I said start on my brain in C start. Think of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, keybind. No, it's not keybind. It's strike. Oh, striking. Is it boots? Are oh, you fucking kidding me, game? God damn it, game. Fuck you, game. Um, character uh, legacy. Please tell me the other fucker went for the striking. No, they didn't. God damn it, they also have the one striking piece. I feel, again, I feel like that's the one piece of striking gear that always drops. System. No, I keep fucking hitting wrong button. Legacy. Apply. Okay, we good. Oh, they got it. Okay. If another piece of striking drops, I have a chance of getting it. There is another monk in this entire fucking lobby. God fucking. Well, there goes my chance of getting the thing. I was, I was Jane just maybe maybe they've already got the loot for maybe you know copium maybe maybe they've already got the loot you know there, there's always a chance you know they just they just they're just not gonna get the loot you know maybe, maybe maybe this one time I'll get it he's gonna swap it fuck you oh he's not gonna swap it what a coward I think it's because he won't swap it the first time because that'd be a bit bullshit if he just completely fucks a new mechanic as soon as you're introduced to it copium he's not gonna use the mechanic. <laughs> He definitely would. Now he's going to swap it. Because he's going to be like, oh, it's blue. And then it's actually orange this entire time. Whoa, could have guessed. I'm just going to get my fucking anthropomorphic. Watch it though. I'm going to buy my chess piece with the fucking anthropomorphic. What the fuck? And he's in I'm just move, move away from me. Let me just fucking get noinked. That's a tank stack up, which is cool. Again, the tanks get to do cool shit like that, where they're like, yo, bro, let's fucking tank this shit. It's like, yeah, bro. That's how all tanks talk. They're just all, they're just all like going, yeah, bro, let's fucking go, bro. Yeah, let's fucking go. Orange, meaning line, but it's going to swap over to blue most likely. I have a feeling. 
It did not. What the fuck is this one? I'm just going to stay away from that fucker. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, fuck that one person. I don't even know what they were doing. Why were they just... I think they were just scared. I think they were honestly just scared. They had a marker on themselves and were like, I don't know what to do. Sniper? The fuck? Oh, they, they were just fucking about. Okay. That's okay. So that is the one healer who keeps running into fucking date. I swear if he tries to mess up the fucking balance. He's probably just going to get kicked if he does that, to be fair. Holy shit. I was on the fucking precipice of eating that. I don't even know if he can vault kick. Oh, I hope he follows the thing. Where's my fucking... Where is my cursor? There it is. Uh, where are they got This way. Now here he's going to do the weight of our souls. Oh, I used it. I did the exact same mistake I did before. Oh, no, he didn't. He didn't do it. I thought he's going to do the soul thing so I can fuck up my rotation again. Right. I'm keeping this fucking blast when he summons the guys. I'm keeping my big fucking perfect balance when he summons his little chuckle fucks to fight us. Oh, no, he's doing fired up. Okay, that's fair. Not back. Point blank. It's just going to be two the first time because it's always two. Come on, go get a little cheeky. Bah, 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 bah. I didn't get my move off, sadly. Right, slightly angle it so that I can go away from the knock. Yeah. You got to be careful about that or else you just get double bopped. Right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get real cheeky here. Point blank. AoE. AoE into AoE. So not back, not back. I'm just going to ignore the second not back, I reckon. Can I get a cheeky one? Oh, I get... No. Woo! Bonk. And then... Bonk. Arm's length. Because it's funny. I like just using arm's length to be like, can hey, now. Nah. nah, mate, I'm good. Right, here we go. Get frozen. It's go time, baby. Summon your little minions. I'm just going to stand back so I know where to go. Which one? I'm connected to this one. It's me! Oh no, it's me! I'm pretty sure one time when I was doing this boss, I was the one tanking it, which was really funny. I'm going to try and make sure if he's going to fire at me, I want him to fire into the corner so that he doesn't hit any of the party. I feel like I have to raid wide. Thank God it's not the troll who got that. Yeah, I think he aimed that at me, and I just keep fucking nearly cleaving the entire other raid groups. Ah, uh, second group again. Alright, that side needs more weight. I'm just gonna not move. I'm just gonna go to the front of Mandeville. Right. Someone's gonna run back and forth. Someone's gonna be a troll. Thank god. <laughs> Look at me frozen. I'm frozen mid-animation. That's so good. Please, I want to see. Yes! I'm Mandevillain. Yeah, baby. <laughs> that is just style right there.
I'm Amanda Villing. Oh, you can't even see me because I'm too near the front. Oh, if you stand too near the front, you don't get seen. <gasps> yes, there I am. <laughs> One time I stood so far back, I wasn't in any of the cutscenes, which I found fucking hilarious. Just, I wasn't even involved. I just want an up-to-date Yu-Gi-Oh game with a full, like... I just want an up-to-date, like, Yu-Gi-Oh tournament edition. Like, don't even include multiplayer so you can keep selling Master Duel and shit. Just give me, like, a nice full single-player Yu-Gi-Oh game. I mean, you kind of have it with, like, uh, you know... It's gonna swap over, watch it. I ain't no fool. No, it didn't, actually. Um, like, they're just gonna... Like, I know they want to sell Master Door and shit, but just give me a nice single player game. Uh, I don't get I know they, I think they've got a Yu Gi Oh! 7s game that came out, which has, of course, Rush Dueling, which is basically Yu Gi Oh! going like, we've made the game too complicated, help. Uh, it's blue, so I need to go close. I need to run away. I oh, know it's orange, so this isn't going to happen. Oh shit, this is orange, so we need to line up. Everyone fucking died. I'm not gonna be revived. How did I die? Oh, I was in the wrong circle. That's why I died. Straight up was just in the wrong circle. Hey, oh my boy. Uh oh, this is the big laser. I don't know which direction it's going. Oh, thank God I'm being revived on the right side. I don't know if it spawns loot based on just like the parties. Yep, can't get those, sadly. Right, player accommodation's going to the other healer. Striking! Scouting! Oh my god, we got striking. I'm not gonna... Oh, we got two things of striking, so I can double need, baby. Oh, I might actually get an upgrade! <laughs> uh, pass. Is that striking? Oh my god, I thought there was like three things. Right, I'm, I'm, gonna, do, I'm gonna say that for last, because that's the one that I, I care for in terms of these. Uh, I'll pass on the music. Right, here we go, baby. Boom! I'm not gonna get it. And someone else got it, yep. Yeah. Will I at least get a piece of fucking striking? Yes! I got a piece of striking! Oh, thank fuck! I got a piece of striking! And it's actually a big piece of armor as well, so it costs more to make. Yes. <laughs> But Jenny made me happy. Oh, it's been so long since I've actually had a piece. It's probably not even better. Oh, it is actually better. Oh, look. Oh, new gear. Oh, I need to fucking glamour plate that. Hold on. Boink. Um. Oh, it's so fucking happy. Having the new gear. Oh, I've Waiting to get fucking yes, I'm 581 now, baby. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Three more pieces, actually. Now that I think about it, and I've seen the. I have not seen the chess piece drop. I'll probably just get my chess piece from the anthropomorphic, and then I can pump it up to 590. Because I'm getting close on that. But yes, that's where I'm going to end today's stream. We actually, I actually got a fucking piece of the thing I wanted, which is awesome. Didn't get the wind up though. So, yeah, I'll probably do more of this again because I want the other pieces. Um, yes, hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be streaming next week again because I don't know if I want to play Darkest 2 or if I just want to do more of this. It all depends on how I feel. Uh, as much as I said I would beat Dark Souls 2, I change just I'm not in the mood to play Dark Souls 2, especially after playing Elden Ring. Um, but yes, hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I will... Hopefully see you on Monday, and if I don't, on Friday. Uh, hope you'll stay safe, stay hydrated, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. I didn't even mute my mic, did I?